After a year of planning, the day had finally arrived. We were en route to the start of our month-long canoe journey across Labrador. After staring at maps all winter, we decided on a route where we would start at the Menahik Hydro Dam and paddle our canoes approximately 670 kilometers over two heights of land and three ecosystems to the coastal village of Nain. If all goes well, we should be done in 35 days. Like any proper canoe trip, getting there was an adventure on its own. Dave Green, Chris Jard and I would be driving from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Labrador City where we would meet with Alex who plane hopped his way from Toronto, Ontario the day before. From here we would take the Tuatin rail line and head north for another four hours where we would then be dropped off at the Menahek Hydro Dam. I think down here looked like an easier entry. Yeah, this guy. This, yeah, this was it. All right, we are north of Bay Como on the 389 en route to Lab City. It's about eight o'clock at night and we decided just to pull over and park on the side. We've been driving for about 15 and a half hours today, so I think that's good enough. And uh, yeah, we got a little, uh, little sight here. A little camping trip before the camping trip. There's a fire pit here. We picked up uh, some beer and some wieners. We have an old fashioned cookout. The black flies are already out, they're buzzing around. We're getting the royal welcome. We got bugs, we got some rain, we got a lake. I think it's been a pretty good day. We've gotten like, I don't know, 1,000 kilometers, 15 hours of driving. We'll get to Lab City tomorrow morning. It's fine. We're gonna sit here, drink beer, have a good old time. Something from a sci fi movie. Yeah, it's one of the biggest earthen dams in the world. Jesus. 250k to go. We have made it to Labrador. It's been a long couple days, but we're here. I don't think we broke the windshield. No. So far so good, we haven't broken anything. Yeah, still have all our tires in there. Yeah. Good start to the trip. Alright guys, so I'm standing on the lawn of Toby's place right now in Labrador City and I've got communication that the boys are coming any second and I think this might be them. Howdy! Yo boys! Yeah. What is it. going on? Not much man. How's the drive? It's long. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, two days of driving. We just saw two wolves, a black bear. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Camped on the side of the road, got all our tents nice and sandy and wet to start the trip. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll be cozy. Yeah. Unreal. Yes, Should well, I park in the driveway or? Uh, I would say yes, but she's gone right now. I don't know where she went, so I would say no now. I just I'll pull I'll up there. On. The boys are here. We're one step closer to starting this trip. First time we're actually looking at all the gear together. This is all our food, four solid bear barrels. Two barrels, two bags. 
There is a lot of gear. <laughs> no shortage of it. I just here start spreading these out. Yeah, I, mean, I got a half dozen spread room. Shit. That gun is really long, isn't it? Man, the low. Pelican case was ridiculous. There's like two of those. Really? Yeah. So we are currently just hanging out, waiting for the train to arrive. We've tested all of our gear inside the canoes to make sure it fits, and it's looking pretty good. And luckily enough, there was actually a couple of workers at the Emerald Station here that uh, were able to let us know what time the train's coming. So they gave them a call and apparently we can expect it at three, which we're almost at right now. We've just been hanging out here in the sun. stuff is loaded. Jumping on the train up to Menahik Dam. Should be another three or four hours before we get there. The Tuatin Railway is the first Aboriginal run rail transportation that stretches 220 kilometers through the wilderness of Western Labrador and Northeastern Quebec. Other than the track being a means of transporting freight and minerals, the route also plays an essential part in commuting passengers from the surrounding Innu communities. used our time to mark up our maps with important milestones, which helped us create a general timeline for the next month. We even had the opportunity to chat with some locals. As what seems like common practice in the north, we got into a friendly conversation with some of the workers at the dam who offered to drive us the kilometer down to the put-in. down the slope, but I didn't want her to no, no, slip good enough. We can carry him yeah. this far. You guys saved us a hell of a lot of work. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
take a catch a breather and see what's up. So there are a ton of fish just boiling right in this area and they are not small. All right, so we've officially made it to the put-in. And we're in Menahik at the Hydro Dam. Some great guys here that we met that sent, helped us bring all of our gear down from the train down to here. And because we've seen some fish action happening on the water here and we don't really feel like paddling today, we decided that this is gonna be our home for the night. There's just so many emotions going through my mind right now. I just cannot believe we're finally here. Feeling pretty good. Feel good. I'm glad to be here. It's, uh, it's been a long road. Uh, small miracle that we managed to get everybody and all the things to the actual start of the trip. And it's not raining. Bugs are bad, but that's to be expected. But it's a beautiful night to start the trip.